Hello everyone, today will be a review of the Shangxiao Mega Minx. Alright, let's get into it. When I got this puzzle out of the box, I noticed I think the outside was greasy, but you could just wipe that off. The layers were a bit stiff and slow, but really smooth. So I, I noticed right away I needed to lubricate this puzzle and tension it. The stickers that came with this puzzle are the stickers you're looking at. The shades are nice, I, I, they're vibrant, they're, you can tell them apart from each other. Everything's holding up well, except for this blue sticker right here. One thing I had to adjust to was the color scheme. It's a little bit different from a Dian Megaminx color scheme and a MF8 uh, color scheme. So, but it's easy to get, you know, it's easy to get used to, and you can always re-sticker the puzzle if you really don't want to get used to it. Size, uh, it's about close to the same size as the Dian Megaminx. As you can see with the pen, it's about the same size, but this one has ridges, so it might be a little bit raised. The weight of this Megaminx uh, feels just fine. After I lubricate this puzzle and tensioned it, I noticed the movement was just so, so much better. Uh, it got actually too fast for me, so I, I had to tighten it a little bit more because it was, it was getting a little bit uncontro you know, uncontrollable. So this Megaminx can be really, really fast. It's also a really smooth Megaminx, the smoothest Megaminx I have. If I was supposed to compare it to a 3x3, I would compare it with uh, a Guhong version 2 because they're both smooth puzzles. Alright, so corner cutting of this thing, uh, let's go for there, it does it, let's try that right there, and it does it, reverse corner cutting, not really, it doesn't really reverse, it just catches and just does that weird thing, but I find that the, the lack of reverse corner cutting isn't so bad as you can see in this little clip I have to show you so the reverse cutting is it's, it's some some people might need it but some people might not need it for me, it's okay that it doesn't have it, it's just fine. The Mega Minx is still awesome, the lockups. So, this puzzle doesn't really lock up, just sometimes catch because it doesn't reverse corner cut. But I find that if you kind, if you have your tension just fine, it shouldn't do it too, mu too much, you know? It should be just fine. For the most part, if it does lock up, it's just on the reverse part. Popping up this puzzle, I've never received a pop on this thing. It's just designed not to really pop so that's really good so let me just show you the edge and the corner how they look this is an edge this is a corner piece that's how it looks in there so this puzzle can be a challenge to put the corner pieces in but the edge pieces just go in just fine problems and overall performance I don't really have a problem with this puzzle, except if it catch when you're trying to reverse cut on, ac on accident. Overall performance though, this puzzle is uh, pretty awesome actually. It's a really great Megaminx. Really, really smooth puzzle. So if you really love smooth puzzles, yeah, you should definitely, definitely get this. It's pretty awesome. Although I do wish it had ridges like the Megaminx because I, I was getting used to having ridges you know, using ridges, but that's fine. The puzzle still moves just great. Uh, it doesn't need it, but I would just like it. Conclusion, this is a really great Megaminx. Moves awesomely. Uh, stickers are great on there. Speed is just wonderful. It can be a little bit too speedy, but you can always tighten it to slow that down. But yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend uh, getting the Shengxiao Megaminx. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Shengxiao Megaminx. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Have a great time. Bye.